Hey guys, what's up? Just got this in the mail via Amazon. Uh, it's a Workman SWR-3P SWR meter. Um, so I actually have a couple of uh, CB antennas I want to tune and I wanted to give this a shot. Um, I already do actually have an SWR meter but I didn't know if there was something wrong with it. Um, it just never seemed to be correct. I don't know if it was, I don't know, maybe I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing, I, I don't know, but um, I guess I guess I wanted at least a second one to compare it. This one was originally was like $15, this one was like 22 bucks, and yeah, I mean this one has dual meter, has the dual screens, well the dual gauges, um, let's see what's up. So the manual is pretty basic to read, um, so I said I have two antennas that I got to two fire sticks I got a tune. I got one longer one, I got one shorter one. And I'll show you that in a couple seconds, but let's open this up real quick. So what is this to? What is this? It's like some little antenna. I did see this on their brochure. So I don't know. Let's say Okay, well so it looks like what's funny if you look at the two I mean they look almost exactly the same when it comes to buttons you have power SWR Ford 10 watt Ford reference okay so I guess the only difference between this one is SWR and power. So if you were going to be testing the watt, wattage, you'd just put it on power. That thing in the SWR, that's your wattage forward and reference. So this one here is your, your SWR setting right there. Alright, let's turn this counterclockwise. Um, it didn't come with a jumper, so I wasn't bothering. Well, I already had a jumper, I guess. Um, Alright, we're going to test this thing out and see if I can get my CB to roll. At least two of the antennas. I, I do actually have those fire sticks uh, adjustable tips. So, um, yeah, actually, uh, the, the, one of the main reasons why I got a second one is I'm actually getting in a 10 meter. So, I wanted something to be able to tune my antennas with for, for 10 meter. But this should actually work with 10 meter. It says uh, the range is. Um, somewhere I read somewhere it was like something was like lower HF bands. It doesn't say it here. Though. All right, cool. I'm gonna get this thing set up. I'll show you the antennas real quick. Okay, guys, there are my two fire stick antennas. And as you can see, I think I did a different view on the quick detach mounts. And I actually have two antennas. Uh, the smaller one I keep on the antenna or keep on the vehicle at all times. Uh, the longer one I can't keep on there because I can't get under, uh, I need to build a drive in a parking structure and I can't get in there with that longer antenna on there, so. Um, the small, the small antenna is actually, I, I do pick up stuff with it, so. But it's being partially blocked by my cab, the, the roof. Um, uh, but it's actually probably good for, good enough for the trails if you're in like a small line of, of vehicles. But, uh, the longer one, if you want some distance, I'd put that up there, but. Since I'm going to be start, I'm going to be messing with 10 meter. I'm going to hopefully be able to use these antennas for 10 meter. Um, but they are the fire sticks with the adjustable tips. Yeah, you know, this thing comes off, but I'll I'll get to that. I'll show you the tuning of that. But uh, all right, I'm going to get this thing set up with the meter. There you go. All right, guys. So it's still kind of a mess in here, but this is my antenna cable. I don't even know if this is LMR 400 or what the hell this is, but this was actually the original owner that had the Bronco, which is. 20 years ago, put that in there. So, let's test this thing out. And that's the radio I'm using. It's a. Uh... Should have auto squelter. I'm not sure that. So, I should try to adjust it. Right here. Yeah, I'm just reading the instructions that I need to get it tuned in the. Um, what's it called? Range. The. Uh, Middle range, like channel 20. Because they say if you uh, tune it in uh, channel 
channel 20, it should be fine both ways. The different ends of the spectrum or the uh, CB range. All right. Okay, guys. So, sorry for the messy floor. I haven't vacuumed on that thing for a while. But I'm trying to keep this as flat as possible. But, okay, so I have the mic right here. And plugged in. And, okay, so make sure this is totally counterclockwise. Make sure that's set to forward. And they said key the mic. Then adjust this to set. Just trying to see right there. Set. And then switch this down. That's your SWR. Hello? Yeah, you can see it pick up. That's pretty bad. Two and a half. So that's actually why, well, at least I have the other SWR meter to, to you know, uh, as a reference. So do that again. Fully counterclockwise, up to forward. Transmit. Set to the set position. That's my SWR. I mean, this is, this, this is definitely not ideal conditions. As you can see me talking. As I'm talking, it's moving the needle. Um, so that's about two and a half, it looks like. I, yeah, it's pretty bad. So, let me try my antenna real quick and see what happens. All right, so that first test was with my uh, large antenna. This one's going to be my small antenna, so fully counterclockwise, forward. Um, okay, I'm going to key it. Key, set, wow that one's even worse, what the hell, that's brutal, wow that's pretty bad, I mean do that one more time, okay, key, set, Reference over three. Well, the wattage is oh, why is the on this antenna the wattage is way up? Actually, I'm gonna write that down. You know, this, on the, I, I know this is an export radio, 10 meter export radio. That one says 8 watts coming out. <sighs> Big antenna's back on again. So, key, this one's putting out 4 watts. Set. Alright guys. I'm confused here, so I'm going to grab my other meter just to, as a reference here. And get it going, check it out. Um, weird, weird, weird. Okay, um... Huh. I mean, I wonder if this, I mean, it could be a bad cable, bad antenna. I'll, I'll try messing with the tips. We'll see what happens. All right. All right, here's the other one. This is why I always thought this one was kind of off or some, for some reason. Lots of times it wouldn't go back to zero. Um, so key up. I just want to make sure it's actually set. And down to reference. You're going to jail. Uh, aren't you going to jail? Yeah. So that says a bit, a little bit over three. Okay. The bottom scale. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know. Either I'm doing this wrong, this truck's are wrong. Um. Uh -huh. 
Uh, well, if any of you guys are CV experts, maybe you guys can help me out. So, all right, let's go back to the other one real quick. All right, we'll try it with this one again. Okay, we gotta make sure we're in the four position, all the way counterclockwise. Okay, let's go. Um, key. And reference. The other one said it was about three. Somewhere in the three range. All right. Well, let's see. I'll do it one more time. This is so. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is annoying. Okay, so transmit set. I think it's about right there. Reference. That's my SWR. Should be. Two something. Bad, bad. That's for the long antenna. Let me try the short antenna again. Okay, back with the um, short antenna. Okay, forward, all the way half, key, set, over three. So I knew the, the bad, the shorter one was bad, so at least worse than the other one was. So they're sort of okay, I mean, similar a little bit, I think, between the, the, the other one and this one, but this one seems to be more consistent with the needle coming back to back to zero. So let me go uh, try to adjust the antenna real quick. Okay, so I did a quick antenna adjustment. This is still the short antenna. Forward, boom, set, reference. Okay, that did bring it down. It's still real bad though. The tip is pretty much as far out as it can possibly go. Forward. This is a short antenna. Set. Reference. Still round three. Am I doing something wrong? I mean, I'm looking at the directions, so. Hmm. All right, let me try the big antenna again. All right, so back here with the big antenna again. I'm gonna do a quick reference forward. I seem to get be have better luck with the big antenna. Okay, so that one's under three. All right, I'm gonna pull the tip out as far as I can go. So I'm, just see if it makes any difference. All right, so this is my last test, I think. Let's see here. Forward. I have the tip totally extended. Set. Reference. Wow, huge difference. Look at that. Now I'm under... Under two. So just to make sure this isn't a fluke. So this means my, my tent needs to be longer. I'm thinking the antenna base needs to be longer. I gotta put like a spring in there maybe or something. Alright, so we're making some progress I think here. I mean getting better. So we'll see. We'll set. I'm gonna I'm gonna lower it down just to make see if it goes back just to under three again. Just to see if that actually truly is the issue. Alright, back here. So I put the tip all the way back in again. For reference, I'm sure this is gonna be a, a very annoying video. Sorry guys. Alright, just trying to figure this out. Okay, let's go. Set. Uh, reference. So, it definitely went back to where it was. So it makes me think the antenna needs to be longer. Alright, so this is the absolute longest that little thing will go. The ingester tip, adjuster on the tip of the uh, fire stick. So back to forward. Key. 
set. I'm trying to make that. There we go. Now. Now it's down to about 1 to 1.5. I'm just curious to see what happens if I go up to like channel channel 1. So let's check the SR SWR at channel 1. Key set reference back up to 2. All right. Go the opposite direction. I'm going to go up to channel, channel 40. All right, let's see. Channel 40. Uh, forward, down here. Power, set, uh, reference. Okay, that's under 1.5, so okay. Back to channel 20. Okay. Now we're going to do a set. Excuse me. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. Set SWR. Okay. It's a little bit of 1.5. So I think the antenna needs to be longer. I do actually have a spring. I'm gonna try putting the spring in there and see what happens. Hey guys, so I just put a spring on there right there. So, back with the SWR. Okay. Okay. Left, forward, reference, or set. That actually made it worse. Well, actually, it made it better. Because the tip is not extended, I put the tip all in. So that actually is better than it was before. Because if I pull the tip out, okay, so set. See? Now let me pull the tip out all again, see what happens. All right, tip is all the way out. Look at that. My best reading yet so far. Am I? What? So does the tenor just need to be longer or what? Well. Alright guys, if you guys have any ideas or pointers, you know, I mean I have this thing with the spring in it now. And the tip is all the way extended, so. Um, the shorter antenna, I think it's going to be probably, I don't know what I'm doing with that thing. So, um, okay, cool. Awesome. Let me know if you have any questions or have any comments or have any pointers to help me out here. Because I'm just trying to get the best SWR. I mean, this is only temporary. I'm not going to, I'm actually going to be getting a, a 10 meter radio. So I'm going to get rid of the CB. I, actually, I just want something with SSB, single sideband. Um, all right, guys. Cool.